Hey everybody, on this episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar, we're doing something that we've never done before. We're going beer. Not just any beer, from Licking Hole Creek Craft Brewery, we are trying, now this, get this, La Calavera Katrina Rechopped Triple Ale. Whew, say that. What does that mean? That means this is aged in tequila barrels. I even got a beer glass. Never saw this on the show before. Watch this episode. Yeah. <laughs> got my bottle, got my glasses. Two glasses. No, we are not having anybody else on this show. But since we're doing something completely different, I have two glasses and we're going to explain why. But welcome back to another episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we are going to be trying for the first time ever beer. But not just any beer. This is some beer that is aged in tequila barrels. So you know for us to review beer or to taste beer or to try beer, whatever, whatever you want to call what we're doing, it's got to be something completely unique and different. Now I know there's a lot of beers out there that are resting in different barrels. I know wine's doing the same thing with bourbon barrels. So to kind of give it a little bit more depth and flavor, but beer, you know, I'm just, I, I'm not going to lie. Straight off the rip, I'm not going to lie. I don't know shit about beer. All I know is if something tastes good and if it doesn't taste good. We're gonna get into that a little bit more, but I, I think when I was drinking beer the last time, I was mostly drinking Guinness because I'm Irish, and it's like, I think I have to. I've tried a blueberry beer, I've, I've tried all kinds of beers, but this one from, here we go, you ready for this? Licking Hole Creek Craft Brewery, Licking Hole, in Goochland, Virginia. Okay, we're, we're just going to keep moving. I know everybody's mind is in the gutter, but I just from what I've heard, this is not a gutter product. Now, this is a tongue twister, especially if you're drinking. This right here, my friends, is La Calavera Katrina 3 Chopped Triple Ale. I can't even imagine walking in having a couple of white cloth no i'm just kidding because that doesn't do shit but ordering this that is a mouthful and as you can see i love tequila and there are some tequila names out there that are pretty hard to remember and hard to pronounce especially if you've been drinking but this one here it's really unique because they age it three months in genuine tequila barrels. I don't know what type of barrels they're using. It doesn't actually say on the label from what, there, there's a lot going on on the label too. But we have two glasses because I do have a bottle that has been over here on ice. So when I did actually, look at, see that you just have your, your bottle openers on the wall and that way you never lose them. But with that, what we're going to do is I want to do it cold because when I was drinking beer before, I would drink beer cold. But when a beer warms, especially with a tequila, you know, using a tequila barrel, you might get a little bit more notes. So that's why we're going to try it twice. And I don't find any reason not to drink extra. All right. Let's get going. So we have the one pour that's going to kind of warm up, but looking at the bottle, I mean, it's a, it's a typical beer bottle, but I love the label because it really is striking. It really stands out. Look, it's almost like 3D right now, right? But it's beautiful. And if you're thinking tequila, you're thinking margarita. And I know the Corona Ritas and just different, you know, uh, margaritas that you buy at a, a restaurant will have like a little beer sticking into it. So it kind of reminds me of that. And it, it's just, um, you know, really striking. I like the artwork. Really, really cool. But I want to thank my buddy Melvin from Smoking with Scruggs. He has a YouTube channel, you know, and comments a lot on what we do. And he's the reason why we got this. So Melvin, thank you very much. And let's get to 
doing some drinks here. Okay, so let's check out the aroma. And right off the rip, this does not smell like a traditional beer. The color, you know, is a nice golden, you know, type brown color. It's got a good foam head on it. <clears throat> I'm trying to sound like I know something about beer, but I really don't. But I, I like the, I do like the aroma. I'm picking up some lime, um, lemon, maybe a, a little citrus, um, you know, and the beer, the beer notes as well. So as the head's going down, never mind. So I'm going to treat this just like I do all my tastings. The first one, coat the palate. And it, it just, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have a shitty beer taste like most beers that I've tried over the last couple years. You know, you get into this craft movement and it's just a, a, a much better product. Okay, so now I'm picking up some citrus. I don't know, you know, the lime, lemon, maybe a little bit of orange. It's got like a honey sweetness to it. Um, you know, agave is sweet, so who knows if they're getting any of that agave tone from the barrels, but this is ice cold. This is actually, it's pretty delightful. It does not have a bitter taste whatsoever. It's really smooth. And what's cool about this is it's over 11% ABV. And it is, uh, it's not, this is this is really good. I get a little bit of the oakiness. Um, I would order this. I mean, like, like seriously. I mean, not being a beer drinker whatsoever. If somebody introduced me, which obviously somebody did, um, this is really this is really delightful. You know, it's easy on the palate. It's not heavy. So one of the other reasons why I, I don't truly drink a lot of beer is. It's heavy you know Guinness was a heavy beer so it would weigh me down this is light summery you know it, it does remind me not so much of a margarita um, but something a little bit more rich and tropical it's with a you know a little bit of dull sweetness not overly you know sweet not overpowering to where it's you know I would say artificial it is all very natural and you're just getting some really good elements in it and as you can see, I'm going in again. I really like this. Um, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I'm not picking up too much tequila, but there is something different there that, you know, it could be. I, I'd, really, I'd really love to know what barrels they're using. Not that I know too anything about tequila, but... So this one over here has been kind of warming a little bit. I'm just going to down that. That's really good. So before we get into this and see if there's any more, you know, properties that I, that I pick up, let's talk about Licking Hole Creek. It is a great name. This is a fucking fantastic name for a brewery. I mean, right off... It, so, so it's a farm brewery, and where the name comes from is back in the day, and I don't know the year, like, so I'm, I'm thinking probably like early 1900s, whatever like that. It's where wildlife used to go and drink. So there is a stream or a creek, whatever, that flows nearby, and all the wildlife actually used to go there to drink. So, licking hole. Makes sense. I know what you guys were thinking. But no, this is from what I hear, um, you know, it's a great place. They, they grow their own hops, their own barley. Uh, they have 290 acres. Uh, like I said, it's a farm brewery. They have a sunflower festival. They have music, food trucks. They grow hemp, so they have a, a hemp beer, which is really interesting. Um, the hemp move, movement and you know all that is, is really big right now. And they did open up a bar in Richmond, so you know you don't have to go out to the farm you can actually go to richmond which is a populated city there in, in virginia and get some beers and 
the thing about it is they have some potent beers. They have some beers that go up to 18% ABV, which is pretty strong. And if you watch my channel, you know I just did White Claw. That was a whole hard seltzer of 5%. Stand back. So this is warmed up a little bit. Let's give it a, you know, I'm just really making an excuse to, to drink some more. It's a, it's a big bottle, people. Yeah, it's really smooth. It's really flavorful. It does not really remind me of a beer whatsoever. Uh, nothing but quality. You, you can tell this is a premium craft beer. And I'm, like I said, I'm no expert, but if somebody, you know, if I was sitting at a bar and somebody offered me this, and I've been offered beers where I've tried them, I just don't like them. This is absolutely 100% Teak Life approved. So, Licking Hole Creek Craft Brewery, fantastic so as you job. you can see, we're going to wrap it up here. My glasses, are, both glasses are almost empty, but 100% Teak Life approved. I'm going to pour some more that's actually cold because I really liked it a little bit more cold. For us to have this as our first beer, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. So look at that bubble. So make sure to subscribe to the Teak Life YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook because the videos go on both platforms, uh, Instagram. And if you think of something that we should have right here, we're licking whole craft breweries beer is just send us an email you can do all that on the website so i'm gonna drink some more i'm gonna finish this and polish it off thanks for watching we'll see you soon